Yo, welcome back to a new YouTube video. My name is Mike. Welcome to my bedroom. I tried making this look like some sick YouTube set. There's a plant, an LED light, and then a lamp creating some back backlight on the wall. I'm just looking at the screen. Doesn't really look that good. One day we'll have a clean setup, but for now, this will do. I want to talk about Instagram Reels and how photographers can use Instagram Reels to get views, get attention, potentially get a lot of new followers. Is Instagram dying? Perhaps Instagram isn't what it once was. I saw a good tweet earlier that said, um, was that a good photo or is it just a pretty person? Obviously, pretty people, they're going to get attention. That's just the way human beings work. Really good photography and having a really good following do not have a correlation on Instagram. I've seen some world-class photographers with six followers and I've seen some bang average photographers with a million followers. Anyway, that's a conversation for a different video or not. That's probably everything. I've just said it all. Instagram Reels isn't brand new. It's been a thing for a little bit now. I've been trying to figure out how to use it. I've seen other photographers figure out how to use it. And I've seen other photographers use it successfully to get views, get a lot of followers. Before Instagram Reels, they maybe weren't getting attention, but now they're doing a certain set of things with Instagram Reels that is working in the algorithm's favor and fair play to people that are leveraging this opportunity. In this video, I wanna talk about how photographers could be potentially using Instagram Reels going into 2021 to uh, bring some life back to the platform, get some attention, and ultimately the whole goal of posting photography content online. Other than having fun, we can go professional with this thing. The dream of any photographer is to be able to do photography full time. So if you can get new eyeballs on your content, if you can get new people looking at your stuff, then it's a bonus. I've made three different videos talking about TikTok photography and how photographers can make content on TikTok. To keep it simple, basically, you film behind the scenes clips, you use trending music and you transition the behind the scenes clip into some photography combined with some trendy music. Boom, you've got the potential to go viral. And I'm making this video here to let you know that Instagram Reels is pretty much exactly the same. Video done, see you later. I wish it was as simple as that, but obviously not. I've got nearly 50,000 followers on TikTok and I'll be honest, I post pretty bang average content. It's I'm not the world's best photographer by any means, but somehow I've managed to just jump on a couple of trends on TikTok, showcase a little bit of average photography and boom, you know, I get I think I've, I don't know, hit nearly a million views or something on TikTok. I'm not telling you that to impress you, so you think I'm cool, although I am pretty cool. I'm telling you that to let you know that you can potentially do the exact same as me. If you're half decent with a camera, you're half decent at taking photos, you can probably leverage this opportunity with Instagram Reels and TikTok, to be fair, to get some views and get some attention. I feel like I'm rambling, but let's just get to the point. To get attention, get views, get followers on Instagram previously, you would need to either go viral by posting an insane photo and it gets shared, which is unlikely, unfortunately, no matter how good you are as a photographer, you're just relying on the algorithm to pick it up. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's never worked for me. In fact, I've never had a photo go viral but I've had TikToks go viral, so weird. A shout out from a bigger channel would previously have got you followers. Obviously that still works. You know, if Lens Bible, for example, on Instagram decide to upload one of my photos, I'm gonna get a lot of new followers. I'm gonna get a lot of attention. So Lens Bible, please help. Or you get traffic coming from elsewhere. If you are the star of a new Netflix TV show, then boom, you're probably gonna get 3 million followers immediately. Or if you have a successful YouTube channel and you've got millions of subscribers and then you set up a new account, you're gonna get a lot of followers. For most people, those situations are not gonna happen. So you need to actually post good content consistently over a long period of time. And hopefully you build a community, you build a following. But now with Instagram Reels, things are different and you can get attention a lot easier and you can get views a lot easier than ever before, really. I'm looking at my Instagram profile now. I put this on screen so you can see it. I currently have 6,350 53 followers and my photos get around 200, 300, 400 likes, maybe. Not amazing, I don't think that ratio is any good. I've had Instagram for such a long time that a lot of my followers are inactive and they're dead, etc., etc. So my Instagram account, I would say it's pretty average. It's nothing, it's nothing to rave about. I think I post good stuff, but obviously it's subjective. So let's just take a look at my Reels profile. As you can see, some of these have got thousands of views. Some of them have got hundreds of views, but let me tell you why it's potentially worth posting and the type of content you could post. So let's have a look at my first Instagram Reels post. It's literally just a speed edit of a retro car. The edit's quite cool, but um, I've gone for a really cliche, vintage, retro aesthetic Lightroom speed edit to see if the Instagram algorithm would pick it up. It didn't. Now let's fast forward, I don't know, 10 posts later. I posted this, which was originally a TikTok classic London photography spot. Me at St. Paul's in one new change and then it just transitions to a whole bunch of photos that I took of that spot. Some nice photos, pretty cliche London photography right there. Now that Instagram reel got 4,956 views and 206 likes. That's basically 5,000 views that I've gotten for free for content. I already made on TikTok. 
that I've just repurposed for Instagram. And then again here with this St. Paul's photo, photography tip, something about using reflections, I think. Yeah, use puddles to create reflections like this. Then it transitions into a whole bunch of reflection related photography. Now I don't wanna talk about how to make that kind of content. I've made some videos about that. I've made those videos about TikTok specifically, but like I said, you can just repurpose that, put them on Instagram. I also wanna talk about this guy who's using Instagram Reels to crush it right now. His name is Iggy the Wiggy. I don't know who he is. So Iggy the Wiggy, if you're watching this, hello, I'm gonna use you as my example. You can see that 6,000 views, 20,000 views, 35,000 views, 78,000 views, consistently getting tens of thousands of views, if not hundreds of thousands of views on some of these reels. Now, why this is smart, if we click on one of them, what is it? Not sure, just five lenses. So he's just recommending, it's just a photography tip, recommending lenses. Let's click onto another one, Lightroom mobile preset. So yep, just screenshots of a Lightroom edit for people to save the video and then copy and paste those settings into Lightroom. So easy to make this these videos, like really, really easy. Pick your favorite photo, one, to, yeah, this is gonna get people to comment by asking them to pick a favorite photo. He's posting really, really simple reels, just going over different types of photography, recommending lenses, showcasing different edits in Lightroom so people can copy. And he's getting 30,000 views, 10,000 views, 230,000 views, 18,000 views. And I don't mean to sound um, rude or harsh by saying that, but the content he's making there isn't technically difficult to make. He's quite literally filming himself for a few seconds, mentioning something photography related, like here's a preset that I've made, or here's some of my favorite lenses, and then transitioning into some of his photos, which are in fact good photos. He is a good photographer, so obviously if you shit at photography, this might not work. He does know what he's doing with the camera. Clearly his Instagram profile looks great. Is that content actually difficult to make? No. So I'm basically making this video to just suggest that if you're a photographer watching this and you've got photos sat on a hard drive, or maybe you've got TikTok content that's not really doing anything, why don't you start uploading that onto Instagram? Why don't you start posting those as reels? Every photographer is precious of his Instagram feed. I am as well still. I've got a little bit of my ego um, wrapped up in how my Instagram feed looks. Like a lot of photographers, I just, you know, we want it to be a nice aesthetic. But if you go into Instagram reel, it's pretty much another portfolio as well. And you can set cover photos with Instagram Reels. So if you want your feed to be consistent, you want your Reels feed to be consistent, that is. If you want your if you want your Reels feed to look good, you can do that. You can set specific cover photos, photography, and then go to tags and then hashtag photography search. And then we're gonna find a photography reel. So this one here, Thinles Dorje Arian. But this guy just popped up on my explore page by searching photography in hashtags. And we go to his top reel, it's got 260 likes, 5,000 views, and it is just a clip of a waterfall. So it's not even photography related, I don't think. Maybe it'll transition into a photo. Point being, he's got 5,000 views there when his account has only got 350 followers. When else would an account with 350 followers get 5,000 views on a post? I don't think that would have happened without Reels. So Instagram Reels is providing a good opportunity for photographers to post average content, subpar content, maybe excellent content and get views for it. Get attention that you otherwise would have missed out on and wouldn't have achieved. My profile is a small example of how I've done that. I've posted 15, 20 reels. Some of them get hundreds of views, but some of them get thousands of views. I wouldn't have got those thousands of views without posting those Instagram reels. So it's just extra attention, more eyeballs looking at my work. This could just be an ego thing because, you know, I want the attention. You never know who's going to come across your work. So if we can get a mass amount of attention, I'm not suggesting we need millions of views, someone who potentially wants to work with me, someone who potentially wants to collaborate, you know, let's say I really want to work with Nike, for example, which I do, it would be a dream to work with Nike on a project, on a commercial, on a shoot of some kind. What if an employee of Nike come across my Instagram reels just by, you know, flicking through the photography tag and then my Instagram reel video showed up and he liked it? Who knows what that opportunity could turn into? If something is as easy as Instagram reels and TikTok is, it seems quite simple to make content, then why not leverage that opportunity? Use it while it's here because Instagram Reels might not be as popping as it currently is or its popularity might increase. And you know, if it becomes more saturated, if every single photographer starts making content on there, then getting views isn't gonna be as easy. You will have to stand out a little bit more. The content I've been making on Instagram Reels is pretty simple and I get a few thousand views for it. The content that um, that Iggy, the Wiggy guy that I was talking about, um, I'll put it on screen. The content he was making, it's simple, but he's making the content and he's getting views for it, which is fair enough. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say in this video. Instagram Reels is new. We need to leverage it while we can. Instagram Reels might provide 
a good opportunity to bring some life back to the platform and I think photographers should be utilizing it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've been talking a lot, so I'll probably stop talking now. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support the YouTube channel, I've created some presets, some Lightroom presets. So this is my time to plug that over on my website, mikechudley.com. A link will be in the a link will be in the description if you're interested. They're the price of an expensive coffee. So if you want to help me out and put food on the table, go download my presets. That will be appreciated. That's probably enough talking from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you very soon. Peace.